find the cosine of the cosecant inverse of 5 over 3. Let's solve for the inside here first. And just get a component here so I can do <clears throat> where's 5 over 3. Cosecant is going to be the reciprocal of, um, excuse me, the sine. So we're going to be limited between negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. But we can just go ahead and draw the circle. I know it's going to be in quadrant 1. So I know cosecants R over Y. So I know this is going to be 5. This is going to be 3. Actually, it's going to be a little different than that. 5, 3. And I need to, because I'm going to take the co cosine there, let me think here for a second. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, 3, uh, this is X, and well, this should be theta. I'll just make that theta. And this is R, which is 5. So I don't know what the radian value is. That doesn't really matter in this case. Radian value. I do know that whatever that is, it's going to give me the, it's going to spit out those components. I don't know what X is, but I'll use the Pythagorean theorem here. So I'm going to do R squared uh, minus y squared is equal to x squared, so I'm going to get um, 5 squared, which is 25, minus y squared, which is 9, is equal to 16. And then that means that, in this case, that x can be equal to 4. So what we're going to have here, cosines equal to, a theta is equal to um, y over r, which is just going to be equal to 4 over 5. That's it. That's our solution.